we need to take this message seriously and pray. Amen. On the 28th of March 2021, during a Sunday service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Dr. Ian Law, gave a prophetic warning urging saints and intercessors to pray for the ANC. The following are his words. Let us continue to pray for the African National Congress, which is the governing party in South Africa. Why? We are to pray for the African National Congress or the ANC and its leader, President Cyril Ramaphosa, who also happens to be the leader of South Africa. Why? Because I saw that political organization in a tailspin, things tumbling in the sand, and the, the organization disintegrating, which may suck the country into confusion and into violence. So let us pray for a lot of wisdom in handling the former president that I talked about in the past. There is a former president that I talked about in the past. The, uh, let us pray for, for God to grant them wisdom on how to handle him. Because uh, I saw violence in the vision, which can be a fallout or, on the handling of this man. You see. So, and um, there are forces that are working day and night, that are burning the the, the midnight oil in order to depose the incumbent president. The Spirit of God is saying, it is not the perfect will of God who is in heaven, who is seated on his throne in heaven, for that man to be deposed midstream in his term as president in South Africa. The economy of that country will suffer, already it has suffered because of COVID-19 and uh, other things associated with the, the lockdowns of COVID-19. The Spirit of God is saying, if they depose or remove him forci forcibly, or remove him unceremoniously, humiliate him and remove him unceremoniously, the, the economy of that country will almost crumble. There will be massive unemployment and there will be ethnic and civil unrest. So the situation has to be arrested. The people who are contending for power there, they have to have the interests of that nation and the interests of Southern Africa and the interests of the whole of Africa and the whole world at heart because of the importance of South Africa as a polity or as a nation. Now, in a letter circulating on social media last night, Mahashule says that he's used powers vested in him to subsequently suspend the president. Morning Live spoke to ANC National Spokesperson Apule Mabe a short while ago. We did establish, as a matter of fact, yesterday, that uh, the Secretary General did uh, write a letter to pre uh, 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 our President Comrade Sir Ramaphosa. We have subsequently issued a statement as the African National Congress confirming and affirming that uh, decisions of the National Working Committee and the National Executive Committee uh, do stand. We also asked the SG to respect those uh, decisions and hold on to the decorum of the African National Congress, which decorum requires that all those who are members of the ANC in good standing, who have taken its oath of membership, must at all material times act in a disciplined manner and in a manner that contributes to the unity of the African National Congress. The servant of God, Dr. Ian Love, urges saints and intercessors to pray more earnestly for the African National Congress and the entire nation of South Africa. You see. So, and um, there are forces that are working day and night, that are burning the, the, the midnight oil in order to depose the incumbent president. The Spirit of God is saying, it is not the perfect will of God who is in heaven, who is seated on his throne in heaven, for that man to be deposed midstream in his term as president in South Africa.